What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be working on this old school 90s Nissan 200SX right here. So this thing's fully raced out. A lot of really cool stuff going on with it. Now from my understanding, this one was actually featured in a magazine. Now let me give you a little backstory. This car actually happens to belong to a neighbor of mine and I met him at the neighborhood car show we had here in my neighborhood, which um, it, ooh, it's actually on my other channel. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, I'll put a link in the description below to that one. Really, really cool neighborhood. I'm, I'm, I'm in here, a lot of car guys in here. Met this guy at the car show because I literally just moved into this neighborhood uh, a little over a year ago now, actually. So anyways, what we're gonna be doing here on this specific vehicle is if you look down here, We've got some clear bra that's very distorted. We've got some chemical etching going on, it looks like in it. It's just very hazy and doesn't look very good. And he asked me if I could pretty much do anything to restore it and bring it back to life. And that's what we're doing in today's video. We are going to be trying out this new Gion PPF for new, you can see right here, and see if this stuff is actually as good as they say. And if it's gonna actually restore this old clear bra that's probably, I would venture to say close to 20 years old. So um, let's get started guys. So what we're gonna be doing is using this orange one inch foam cutting pad right here. This is the flex one I believe. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it on there. Go ahead and shake up our product really good. Put a little dab on there and good to go. All right, so we ran into a little bit of a predicament there during testing. You can also see it's up on the lift now, but during the testing, did not realize this, but the battery died here on the camera and a lot of my little testing I was doing was not recording. So unfortunately, I did not get all the little testing I was doing. However, we do have some results that are in on this specific product right here, the Gion PPF Renew. And the verdict here on this specific old clear bra is, um, how do I put it? It's junk, okay? Do not like it. Uh, I followed everything, all the steps to a T. Did not work out for me. I tried it with several different uh, pads, techniques, speeds on the machine, everything to a T just like it says. And I kept getting this weird hazy film left behind. So not a very user-friendly product um, on this clear bra right here. Was not having it, was not working. So what we did, we stepped it up to the Sonax Perfect Finish right here. Now this is my go-to for when it comes to doing the final polish on paint. Um, really, really happy with it, really good stuff. And the verdict on this right here is definitely an improvement, really happy with it. We could probably get away with doing this on all the clear bra, and I'm sure my client would be very, very happy with the results. However, I wanted to take it a step further and see if there was some way I could potentially refine it even more so, and that is what I did. And the big winner is the 3D speed right here. This is a true uh, one-step correction glaze that it says right here. Now, this right here is like my go-to for when I'm doing an all-in-one, one-step on a, a vehicle, or as I call it, a level one um, paint correction, if you will. And did a couple test spots right here with this exact same product, and I used the same pads and techniques and trying to different stuff with all the different ones. I use different paddocks so I'm not, not cross-contaminating this product to this product right here. So I'm using the same pad, but clean brand new pads with each different product that I'm using so I'm not potentially skewing the results that I'm getting here on the clear bra. So I ended up deciding this is the true winner for what I'm gonna be doing here on all the clear bra to restore it. And I'll get going on that here in a second. I'm gonna show you guys some before and after clips of the, the clear bra as I'm working on it here. And then uh, we'll roll those glamour shots at the end. I think this car will be coming back. We had this car for a limited time right now. He's taking it to the track um, this weekend. So we got a kind of, kind of a time crunch here we're working with, but I'm pretty sure this car will be coming back for doing some light polishing on the paint. And we do need to measure the paint because this is original paint on this car right here, I think. Um, was it, I think this one actually is all original paint minus the hood right here, which is a carbon fiber hood. Um, so we're gonna, we are gonna take some paint depth readings to make sure we're not gonna be potentially compromising the clear coat or anything like that. But I think um, my client would be happy with just doing a, a one step right here, just a light polish. It's, the paint's in pretty good shape overall. It does have some light swirls and scratches. Um, but again, we'll, we'll leave it up to my client, give him a couple options once we measure the clear, clear 
coding here and see what we're up against. So um, let's get started. I was having trouble picking this up on camera here, but if you look closely, you can see some weird little haziness left behind after trying to refinish and refine it down with uh, Gion PPF for now. All right, wrapping up everything here on the beautiful Nissan. Everything turned out really, really nice on it. Definitely a big difference from the clear bra from before and after. We're gonna roll the glamour shots here in just a quick second for you guys. But before we do, I wanna talk briefly, just a quick recap on the two or a couple of different products we use. But I think some things, because uh, of the camera battery died and didn't get everything I wanted to capture. I think I got some shots of the PPF Renew and the issues I was having with it and why in my opinion, it's it's not worth it at all. However, we ended up going with the 3D speed right here. Now, keep in mind, this is a very old clear bra right here. This is somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 years old. Um, newer stuff, I mean, I don't know if it's gonna act any different on newer stuff. I am gonna keep it around to test this right here on newer stuff, so we will see. But uh, I really think this right here is gonna suffice for pretty much all clear bras. Now, now here's a quick thing too, guys is is it necessary to have a dedicated another product in your arsenal of already products that you have such as a ppf or new something dedicated strictly for clear bra i personally say no that's not necessary um a one step right here such as a 3d speed did really really good for me however if you're in a pinch i would even say just like a very light soft polish like actual dedicated true polishing um, product would probably suffice and be just as fine which i actually tested here on this car but I felt taking it a step further further with the 3D speed really took care of that, guys. So that is kind of where we're at here with the car. But other than that, I think we are done with it and it is time to roll them glamour shots. But before we do, I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button too. Till next time, guys, talk to you later. Bye.